Last time, the removal of the barnacles from the bottom continued. I had the privilege of swimming up close and personal with a moon jellyfish, which is really cool to see. The wind shifted and blew from the west to turn all the boats around, which gave us a shady cockpit at sunset. We barbecued burgers for dinner. Oh, it looks terrific, honey. We had amazingly calm weather, which makes for a beautiful morning. We took a dinghy ride to the south side of Norman Island on a calm day to explore the shallow bays. The swells from the south are larger than I imagined, so we don't make landfall. We did an early morning drive-by at Willie T's, but there was no drinking. We went for a hike and I led us down the incorrect trail. Our short hike became three times longer as a result, but we finally made it to the top of Norman Island for some spectacular views. After our adventures, we spent the afternoon on the beach enjoying the amazing weather and the water at one of my favorite beaches. See the tarpon out there, honey? Straight ahead. It's a new day, and today we'll depart for Cooper Island. We spent two nights here at Norman Island. We have the time, and it's nice to hang out and enjoy the locations we travel to without having to rush on to the next destination. It's time for a swim. I snorkeled a bit and went ashore for a little walk to take in the sights. It's time for me to make my way back to the boat and I'll snorkel a little bit along the way. I am back on board. You can hear the hum of the generator. Georgia is still sleeping and enjoying our relaxed travel schedule, as am I. Georgia is up and we had a relaxing morning and now we've untied the lines and are underway for Cooper Island. Leaving the bite at Norman Island is a scenic event and it is always lovely to have such a picturesque morning. Again, we are fortunate that we have light winds today, as this is an upwind direction, so motoring in the light winds is ideal. With about 2100 RPM on both engines, we are making about 7.2 knots over ground. The boat speed indicator is not reading at the moment, but the paddle wheel does get stuck from time to time. We are at Cooper Island and I am in the water. I will inspect and free the paddle wheel so the boat speed indicator will start working again. Where are we going, honey? We are going to Salt Island. As it is a really calm day, we can take the dinghy from Cooper Island and go over to Salt Island to explore. The folklore about Salt Island and salt production has me intrigued. So off we went. It is about 1.2 nautical miles away and is an easy ride in this calm weather. This guy's pointing over here, I don't know. This is We beached the dinghy and pulled her ashore and tied her off. There was a bit of a surf and we didn't want the dinghy to get pooped or float away.
cycle's complete. Work, sleep, or three. After the dinghy was all sorted out, we started our exploration of Salt Island. Actually, our adventure to Salt Island was a bit of a disappointment. All right, looks pretty shitty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where's the salt? So here we are in Salt Island. No signs of salt. Former signs of life, long abandoned. Brickwork here with something. Looks like another, another residence, maybe. We didn't see any evaporating ponds, so no salt to take home. Trash and debris all about, and this lovely piece of land is in dire need of some TLC. Oleanders aren't native. This one's still in the pot. Well, our trip to Salt Island was a bust. Perhaps the evaporating pond will show signs of salt in the late spring or summer, long after the rainy season is gone. Time to go on another adventure. On our way back, we took a ride and headed to the south side of Cooper Island with the idea of going ashore and exploring. That looks like a lovely spot to make a landing. However, we had a problem. We could not turn off the engine, so another bust. And we have a little technical difficulty with our outboard. That should turn the engine off. Pressing on this should turn the engine off, and it does not. So, there you have it, technical issues. Richard working on the dinghy that won't stop running. As we could not turn off the engine, we headed back to Cabo, where I investigated the issue with the outboard. The kill switch had come unplugged from the engine and rendered it useless. It's kind of odd. I would have thought that disconnecting the kill switch from the engine would have shut it down, not keep it running. With the dinghy sorted out, we decided to go snorkeling at Cooper Island, and unbeknownst to us, we were in for a treat. A real treat. I see a hat down there. That's not the treat. When snorkeling, we never know what we will see. Most often we see fish and such. But today, we were blessed with the sighting of the spotted eagle ray. We just watched this fella swim on by. When we were in the water, it felt like he was within 10 feet of us. But on the video, he looks like he's off in the distance a bit. Regardless, it was a beautiful sight to see this graceful creature swimming by. I spotted a mask and snorkel on the bottom but it was too deep for me to dive, as I have trouble equalizing. I used the anchor to fish for it, and while it did take a couple of attempts, I was successful in retrieving it. I also spotted a woman's hat on the bottom. That was much more difficult to retrieve, but I was up for the challenge. I eventually got it to the surface, but as it started to dry out, it began to smell. Like dying marine life, and it is not a good smell. Balancing how much work it was going to be to clean it up versus the trash, the trash won. One of our favorite snorkeling spots, I think right.
We had an exceptionally interesting morning, full of activity, and now it was time for a meal. Cooper Island was just the place for lunch, and it was delicious. After that, we walked the campus, and this boardwalk is just so inviting. I love it here. We checked out the gift shop and looked at the souvenirs that they offered. We had a great day of exploring and adventuring, and now as the day comes to a close, we are enjoying a late afternoon evening with calm weather on the bow of the boat at the Cooper Island Mooring Field. On the horizon, there is a very large cruise ship heading for Rotown Tortola. Rain on the horizon. Fortunately, it's blowing away from us. But for the moment, where we're going looks great. Going to Marina Key. We have some weather coming our way. That's Virgin Gorda. En route to Marina Key, we got caught in the rain squall, and it passed over us before we arrived at the mooring field. It was quite a downpour, and fortunately, we did not have the sails up when the wind and weather found us. For the moment, the weather has cleared up, and we're going to explore the new digs at Marina Key. Ashore, we find the Marina Key Bar and Grill, which is a charming restaurant and has an inviting menu. Situated on the waterfront, there are terrific views of the water. Marina Key was home to newlyweds Rob and Rudy White in the late 1930s. His best-selling book of 1953, Our Virgin Island, chronicled their life on Marina Key. It became the film Virgin Island, filmed in 1958, starring Sidney Portier, John Cassavetti, and Virginia Maskell, with much of it filmed on the island. Georgia and I went for a walk around the island to explore. Hurricane Irma in 2017 destroyed just about everything on Marina Key. There are signs of damage everywhere. Much work has been performed and they are slowly making a comeback. I imagine over time Marina Key will be a bright spot again in the BVI. Come back next time as we set sail from Marina Key to the Bitter and Yacht Club. It is the first time raising a new mainsail and there are adjustments that are needed. We arrive at Gorda Sound, drop the hook at Prickly Pear Island, and get hit with wind and rain. We move to a mooring ball later and have more wet weather. We move to the dock with Cameron's help and have a lovely stay. The weather clears up and we take a dinghy across Gorda Sound to Leverick Bay for a little shopping and sightseeing. Back at the Bitter End Yacht Club, we get a self-guided tour of the marina lofts and we dinghy over to Oil Nut Bay to look around. All this and more. We would like to invite you to subscribe, like, and leave a comment or question. Thanks for watching.